Well, first of all, let me just start by saying uh, this is not going to go down in the record books as the all-time coldest uh, grand ribbon unveiling. That is still held by the Market Street Bridge Lighting, which will uh, live infamously as being in sub-zero temperatures. We've actually got a fairly nice day here today. I want to start by thanking the Kunkel Foundation for uh, generously uh, providing the city with the funds not only to maintain this central plaza here in the heart of Harrisburg, but also um, for, uh, for the ability to take this statue back to the Seward Johnson Foundation and have it lovingly restored. We're fortunate to have uh, the foundations as partners uh, with the city of Harrisburg and they've established a trust fund which allows for the maintenance and the care of this, our sort of central meeting place here in Kunkel Plaza. I wanted to say a few words before we unveil the statue. Uh, and I also want to thank uh, our, our Parks and Rec maintenance crew, all of whom is assembled here. And I did want to take this time to introduce Eric Josephson, who is our new Parks Maintenance Director for the city of Harrisburg. Uh, we are in the process of uh, helping your ranks grow by even more hires. As we speak, six new Parks Maintenance workers in this uh, city budget. Uh, we're going to have enough capacity finally to be able to uh, maintain uh, all of our parks and playgrounds this year uh, in, in the fashion in which they deserve to be maintained. So that's good news. Seward Johnson is a fascinating, fascinating artist. Uh, he's been described as uh, somebody who creates art of the ordinary for, for the ordinary. Um, his art is meant to represent uh, the, 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 the common man or the everyday person in our society. What we have here and what we're about to unveil is not, you know, a equestrian statue of uh, Simon Cameron going off to uh, battle or of uh, John Harris uh, in front of his uh, mulberry tree. We have a, a, a statue which is meant to engage the viewer and also surprise the viewer. Um, in, the, in the fashion of uh, trompe ole, which is a, a, uh, a term which describes art that is meant to represent the real and surprise, you could be walking or driving down as countless people in Harrisburg have for the past several generations, see the statue and think it was an actual living, breathing human being. Well, that's what Seward Johnson wants. He wants to make art accessible. He doesn't want art to be something which, uh, which is highbrow or only there for, um, for, the, you know, for upper class collectors. In fact, a lot of his art is designed to specifically take iconic images and popularize them and put them out into the community in ways in which people can engage. An interesting fact, one of his most famous uh, pieces of art is in New York City, in Liberty Plaza in New York City. It's a statue called Double Check, which is a, a statue of a businessman checking his briefcase before going off to a, an important meeting. And in the aftermath of 9-11, when the towers came down, debris uh, covered the plaza and covered the statue, in fact, damaging the statue. And photos of that statue became a sort of iconic memorial of 9-11. And uh, many people came to that statue and left things like candles and flowers and teddy bears. And the artist himself took the statue back. He didn't repair the damage that was done by the collapse of the towers, but he did cast some of the items that were left as memorials as a part of the recasting of the statue. And you can see that today if you go back and you visit New York City. But you can find Seward Johnson statues all over the world. In fact, there's a matching statue to this one in Sydney, Australia. Only in Sydney, Australia, I guess, uh, he's not reading the Patriot News, he's reading uh, whatever paper they have in Australia. Another interesting fact about uh, uh, Seward Johnson is that he didn't work with uh, actual, he did not cast an actual human being. He built this out of clay, then cast the clay model in plaster, and then dressed the plaster with clothing. You're gonna notice when we unveil this statue, the, the, the lifelike uh, you know, uh, creases on the briefcase and on the shoes, on the patterns, on the suit and everything, all of that was dressed on the plaster cast and then sprayed with a resin that was hardened and then that resin was cast in bronze. Seward Johnson has his own foundry in uh, New Jersey which is uh, able to do work like this. And statues like this are meant to be art for everyone. And so therefore it is fitting that here in the heart of Harrisburg, in the middle of our most public park, we have a statue which represents the common man 
and represents all of us collectively engaging in our day-to-day -day lives. And uh, with that, we are going to unveil the statue and take some questions. Are you ready, gentlemen? Grab, grab an end, and I will do a countdown. We're going to do a countdown. All right. Here we go. Counting down from 10. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Oh! Oh, my word. Wow. And now you know what was done in terms of fixing, uh, fixing this. Isn't that incredible? And it is supposed to be uh, unreal. <coughs> As you can see, he is reading the Patriot. And it could be, it could be a scene that we will see here when the weather warms up at any time. It is designed uh, so that people can sit next and pose for pictures, and you will see that sort of thing everywhere. So perhaps I shall sit next to him and allow for a picture.